Hi everyone, today's video is gonna be an update on my makeup subscription addiction, no, not subscription, that's somebody's blog. Makeup addiction, Project Pam. Um, this is actually gonna be the finale, so this was a collaboration with a bunch of people. They'll all be listed below. Hip Campus is making his appearance today, you know, sometimes. He just likes to do that, Hip Campus. He's a very sweet boy. If y'all, um, there's an old video of where I actually got him. He's my puppy, he's my little baby. Um, Kanga's over here. She's not really interested in being on the video. But anyway, so this is where you chose four to six items that you felt like you had a bunch of and you worked on them. So I made mine a rolling project pan just because I like to do that. And I had already gotten three empties before this video and I actually finished up a fourth one in this finale and that is the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. And I believe I put this in last time. This was like a glowy kind of primer. I, um, I don't know. It was kind of chunky and kind of glittery. I, I don't feel like I love this. Um, I definitely wouldn't pay Giorgio Armani prices for it, but I completely used it up. So that's good. And I do have it on my face today. I actually finished it today. It kept like, you know when, um, like ketchup, when you squeeze it and it just goes, it's kind of doing that. So it's gone. Um, I had a tiny bit left over and I like put it on my shoulder because, you know, I, I don't know. I like the way that looks. Um, it seems a little extra, but I do like the way that looks, but that's an empty. And then I have five other items that I did not quite finish. First is the Alme uh, Wake Up Foundation, but you can see I got a lot of use out of this guy. I do have it on today. Um, I got tan on my cruise, and so it's a slightly too light at this point, but that's okay. You know, it still works. Uh, this is a shade one zero one zero Ivory. I am relatively fair. Um, I don't know. I grew up never thinking I was very fair because my sister is much fairer than I am, but I've come to realize in life that I am pretty fair. But besides the point this is an okay foundation honestly um like going on it looks fine but it patches off really gross and i don't like the way it wears so i am going to be decluttering this um it would after since this product's over i'm going to go ahead and declutter that it's not one of my favorites next we have the selena gomez nicole by opi now this has gotten really thick um but it does have those balls i'm sorry uh, we have some bad news. Um, John is going to have to put down his puppy dog. So we were just talking about that. I'm not very excited about that, obviously. Um, but anyway, um, so it's a little thick, but also it's just really chunky. Like, I love the idea of this. And in the bottle, I think it's really pretty, but it always goes on really chunky and kind of gross. Um, so again, I'm not going to keep that. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that guy as well. I just did my recent nail polish declutter. And, um, if you want to see my declutter playlist, you can go ahead. It'll be linked below, but I kind of decluttered anything that was just a top coat. I don't like those. I like the full glitter polishes, but the top coats, I just don't feel like they ever work as well as I want. So I'm going to get rid of that. Then I have this Victoria's Secret Bombshell Diamonds Body Spray. I was not planning on keeping this at the end of this project. I have gotten a lot of use. You can tell it started here. I've gotten all the way down to there. So I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I really like it. I like it for like days I have to work where I just like swoosh, 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 swoosh. Um, and it's gone, you know, and it does smell really nice. It has okay lasting power. You know, these body sprays never have the best. So I didn't finish it, but I am planning on keeping this guy. So that'll stay in my collection. Then I have the Well People Bio Brightener Cream. Now, before this, I didn't even have pan on it. I was I had a big dip, but I didn't have pan. And now you can see I have a really significant amount of pan. And um, I feel like the walls on the side, especially like right here, are pretty thin. So I definitely feel like I got a lot of use out of this. I don't love this either. I feel like some days it looks really great, and other days it looks really stripy, and I feel like it's hard to blend my, um, because I usually do a cream and then a powder, and I feel like it's really hard to blend over it, um, which I don't like. I don't know. I, I, in my declutter, I kept a lot of cream products for my cheeks just because I, I don't know. I kind of, I'm like, ooh, but I can use them up, but I just don't love them, and they don't make me that happy, so I think this is also going to be decluttered. I'm decluttering a lot. And the last guy is this Lord & Berry eyeliner. I have it on today. I only use eyeliner in the waterline. Um, this on top is actually an eyeshadow. I just like the way that looks better. I feel like it looks softer. Um, I can get all the way in there. I just I don't like it. Um, so this was only used in my waterline, so I didn't really feel like it was going to get used up, obviously. And I don't really like it that much. I mean, it's pigmented, but it doesn't stay. I have much better eyeliners. So again, I'm going to declutter that. So in this uh, four-month project, I finished up four items decluttered four items and one item I didn't finish up but I um, 
I'm gonna keep. Sorry, I like totally lost my train of thought. So I feel like that was pretty good. I got eight items out of my collection. Four of them are completely gone, which is obviously the goal. And since the whole point of this project was to use up four to six items, I feel like it was definitely a success because I hit that four. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. I had a great time collabing with these people. It's one of the first, um, well, Jessica and I did the Beatles one. But besides that, I think it might be like the second collab I've ever done on my channel. So I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please leave any questions, requests, suggestions, comments down below. Talking to y'all is one of my favorite things, so I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, I'll just see y'all real soon. Bye.